another great question that uh, came up a little while back was the difference between a port and compiling or what's the difference between porting and compiling ROMs for a phone so this is a really really great question and there is an art form to both and both have a very unique and important role in the uh, Android community in particular so I want to first look at a few definitions first the definition for compile uh, to compile or compiled or compiling is to put together documents selections or other materials in one book or work or essentially to make a book writing or of the like of materials from various sources or to gather together those are the three main definitions of the word, word compile and of course if you're uh, not new to this channel at all you know compiling is primarily what I focus on and we can see here in the background that I actually have something compiling right now um, building uh, some lollipop for an older phone uh, that I happen to have so that is compiling compiling is gathering together different selections or materials or sources and putting it into one collective work so essentially you're making a ROM by putting together all of these sources into one cohesive unit that you can put onto your phone the firmware now to port, to port, the definition of port uh, in is varies quite wildly because of the word port is used for like where ships come into the from the sea to the land is called a port. A port is also an opening where uh, something can come in and out, uh, such as like uh, a port on your computer. But uh, for the definition of port in relation to computing, uh, port is something is when you port something from something to something is to copy software from one system or machine to another and it gives the example here is there a problem with apps ported from another platform so that's our basic definition of the two of compiling and porting so what does that look like obviously we've seen what compiling looks like that's what's happening right here right now on this machine we uh, we see that the different source files which are all right here. Uh, the different source files are being read and uh, collected together. Each one is being compiled on its own and then they are being compiled all together where it goes and it reads through each file and finds the little parts and pieces of each one and puts together the source code to actually build one collective work out of it. And, uh, and this collective work is made out of many, many small, various sources of collective work that all work together to make one cohesive unit or the firmware on the phone. But to port is, uh, is something quite else entirely. Um, porting, for instance, uh, a while back I worked on the uh, device tree from scratch for the Blocks 2, and you probably uh, remember that if you've been watching uh, some of my videos here. At that time, there was no compiled custom ROM for the Blocks 2. However, there were several ports, and I have here a port by SRG Russo, or Sir Russo. Um, hopefully, I'm not messing up your name. But uh, but that uh, this was a compiled, or not? Excuse me, not compiled, but a ported work. And so to port something from one thing to another essentially they find two very similar phones and they take the uh, they take the ROM for that very similar phone so we'll see I believe in this case it was a Redmi 3 that was utilized to port from and to port 2 was the blocks 2 the Blue Life 1X2 so porting from Redmi 3 to the Blue Life 1X2 and what what uh, SR Grusso did was to take that ROM from the Redmi 3, extract it and open it up just like I've opened this one up here, and then go in to each of these files and areas and change the things that needed to be changed, uh, editing the build script to say, um, hey, I want this to go to Life 1 X2 and not to the old system that it was, which was, I believe, the Redmi 3. Um, 
and edit you know what files get flashed to where and then also to edit what files are in the ROM itself so for instance saying hey in the system uh, this vendor these vendor files that maybe were from the Redmi 3 we're going to throw those out and I'm going to put the vendor files in from my regular stock ROM um, or from even another ROM altogether or parts and pieces of all and say hey I need these vendors and these libraries from my stock ROM instead and put those in and uh, do a little bit of editing to things like the build prop and uh, maybe even add a few apps and binaries and things that uh, need to be uh, changed or edited possibly even in the framework and then taking this uh, now mixed work zipping it back up into one form uh, as uh, as he did here to make this lineage 13.0-0904-2017 so I believe that's the date September 4th 2017 and uh, and put that uh, together for the Life 1 X2 so now then you flash it to your Life 1 X2 and it's actually parts and pieces from say a uh, Life 1 X2 um, stock ROM, but mostly it's the uh, the core pieces from another ROM entirely that was for a different phone, and that's porting. So I'm not 100% uh, showing you how to port. It's actually a really um, impressive uh, thing to do to port. It is an art form, I believe, that uh, is backed by some science, and it takes a lot of skill to do it properly and to get everything to work properly. Um, and that's uh, that's typically not something that we cover here on this this uh, this channel. Perhaps someday that's something that I, I will do just to show how it can be done. But uh, but this is uh, this is a big. Um, part of the Android community because a lot of phones don't have any source code available um, even in the in the respect of kernels that the kernel is not available to build from the uh, vendor trees and the device trees are not available and so a lot of times you'll see a port where a very similar phone is edited or its ROM rather is edited and that ported and edited uh, firmware is then flashed to the phone. So that's the difference between compiling and porting. So which is better would be probably the next question that comes to mind. Uh, both are very unique and good in their own rights. Like I said, uh, a plus side to um, porting is if you don't have any kernel source available, if you don't have any device trees or vendor trees, porting can be a good way to uh, get uh, things that you need. Um, porting typically is a, a bit faster than compiling as far as the actual um, extracting, swapping, zipping back together and putting onto uh, the other phone. However, compiling uh, has a lot of advantage because it uh, is building from source so for one you know everything that's in it and you know that it all works together because it was compiled or put together at the same time so uh, so there's definitely some advantages to both I prefer compiling instead of porting uh, and that's uh, I think the ultimately better route to go it would be better if we build device trees from scratch and actually make them functioning uh, rather than to port from another source because uh, by compiling we can then uh, once we've properly compiled it we can then use that tree to build any version of that particular ROM uh, in that Android version for instance like if you make the device tree from scratch for the blocks to and then uh, for, for CyanogenMod Mod 13 then you can build AOKP uh, and Marshmallow, you can build SlimRoms Marshmallow, OmniRom Marshmallow, you can actually just start moving that around and using that for all sorts of different purposes. If you port, you've done all the work, but it only works in that one instance. And then a new 
uh, update, security update comes out, and you have to port all over again with the new uh, ROM from the new um, device that you were porting from. Whereas if it's compiled, uh, new patches come out and new security uh, uh, releases come out, you can just hit the uh, button and recompile it again, and uh, and you build it all from source yet again, and everything is updated that way. So I recommend compiling over porting, but porting has a very unique and good function and it's a very important thing to uh, our Android community. So I just wanted to show the difference between porting and compiling and in the end the result is the same in that you have hopefully a functioning ROM on that uh, phone or tablet that you compiled for or ported to um, but uh, both uh, go a different route to get there and uh, have uh, different uh, intricacies of how they work.